Sir, I need your help. I knew this moment would come, and I will be the bigger man. I'd be happy to help. Great. We need a doctor here immediately. We have to get your ex-boyfriend. I will not help you. Things did not end well between Frederick and me. Ooh, why not? Dish, sir, dish. Gina, no. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we simply don't have time to hear about the captain's sordid romantic past. What have you become? A hero in a time of crisis. You stay here and take care of Sharon. Uh, what if she's still pregnant when I get in there? Then you'll deal with it. Sir, we're going to get Frederick right now. I'm sure he's over whatever little fight you guys had. Frederick, happy Thanksgiving. Ha. Please don't slam the door again. We have a bit of a medical situation. I wish I could help, but unfortunately, I have a bit of a wooden duck situation. Excuse me, what now? Still on about the duck, Frederick? Years ago, when we moved in together, an antique duck decoy of his was misplaced. It wasn't misplaced. You threw it in the trash. And with it, our relationship. Oh, please. We had other problems. Or have you forgotten about Dave? Dave and I were co-workers and nothing more. Nothing more, right? Problem solved, everybody's friends. Let's go help Sharon. I would be happy to assist you if you will just admit, Raymond, that you threw my decoy in the garbage. That will never happen because it's not true. Thank you for nothing. Good day. Hi, would you mind just standing there with your glorious beard for one moment? I'll be right back. What the hell? Just tell him what he wants to hear. But it's a lie. I don't give a crap, sir. Sharon needs a doctor, so get over yourself and tell him you threw away his stupid duck and give him 20 bucks to buy a new one. It cost $740. What? That is an insane price for a duck. That's way too much. All right, now I'm angry about the wrong thing. Look, just fix this for Sharon. Frederick the duck was ugly and gross, and I threw it in the garbage. Wow. Well, I know what I'm thankful for this Thanksgiving, the truth. My phone's ringing! Oh, oh no! No! <sighs> Terry's still not answering his phone. Why am I the only one who cares about this baby? <laughs> Hey, what took so long? Is she okay? Uh, yeah, I was just telling her the entire duck story, now that it finally has a satisfying ending. No, everything's fine, but I am a little concerned about Sharon's blood pressure. And this is a terrible environment. I wouldn't call it terrible. We're surrounded by criminals, there's no bed, and you can hear the faint sound of someone screaming through all the vents. That's Hitchcock. His arm's stuck in a pneumatic tube. It's hilarious. <laughs> in my professional opinion, Sharon should go to the hospital. Peralta. Can I confess something to you? I didn't throw Frederick's duck in the garbage. Yes, I know, sir. I didn't throw the duck in the garbage. I threw it off a bridge. Why would you do that? Well, Frederick and I were having problems. He knew I disliked the duck because of its weak beak, but he insisted on displaying it anyway. I acted out in a petty manner, just as I did today. I'm sorry that I wasn't more helpful. It's fine, I understand. You might find this hard to believe, but I can be a little childish sometimes myself. Yes. You have gum in your hair right now. Noted. These spindles are gorgeous. And there's almost a feeling of musculature to this transition. The oak just sort of told me the shape before I even got to the spoke shave. This under bevel is a great trick. It really makes it feel lighter while leaving you plenty of beef to carve. It's really just a modified Danish lime. Still, you made it your own. This is as good a chair as I've seen. I have nothing left to teach you. Oh, hurrah! Thank you. Look at us, taking a class, open to new things. See, aren't you glad that I picked the art of bread? They said there was a special guest teacher. I wonder who it is. I know who it is. Jackson Boudreau. No way! From Extreme Bread? We watch that show all the time. I, I make his bread all the time. I eat his bread all the time. There's so much more than bread. He's worldly spiritual. All I know is the episode where he rolled naked and breadcrumbs sent me to heaven. Mm. There he is. Be cool. Be cool. I am Jackson Boudreau, and this <laughs> is the art of bread. Bread making. Love making. What's the difference? Nothing. <laughs> we need both, and we need both. Oh, manly. <laughs> so let's make love, everyone, by which I mean bread. 
And then we'll make love again, by which I mean more bread. Now who's horny? For bread. Not bad, huh? Are you making an ashtray? No, it is a bread bowl. And you know who will know that? Jackson Boudreaux. Mmm, I love your ashtray. Thank you very much. You've been rough with her, I like it. I sense you are a woman of contradictions. No, I'm not. Oh, wait, oh, I guess I am. <laughs> Delightful. I would like to spend time with you. Me? I love that as a question. Just one thing, though. I hate the term celebrity, but I'm a very big one. When things end up in the tabloid. Oh, I hate gossip more than anyone. I heard it ruined Ben Affleck's marriage. You are damaged in the most beautiful way, aren't you? I am. We will be in touch. Now you go bake that bad girl. She's not bad. She's just misunderstood. A noble failure. Permission to bake. Hmm. That's quite a loaf you've got there. Thank you. My, my holla makes the boys holla. <laughs> I love it when my students make jokes. <laughs> you've done this before, haven't well, you? Well, I, I, I dabble. <laughs> you dabble. You are so you, aren't you? You know, I've always thought so, but it is so nice to hear someone else say it. Yeah, I, I gotta say, uh, big fan. You know, it was, it was so cool when that one baker refused to bake the, the cake for the gay wedding. The way Shh. you... Don't let words get in the way of what we want to say to each other. <laughs> uh, that's right. Oh, yeah. I would like to spend time with you. I, I feel the same. You won't tell anyone, okay? I don't know anyone. <laughs>